Today we're going to try something a little bit different, a little bit outside of the norm for this channel. It's still obviously a review. We have the 86 brand OMG Vape Line. This is two grams of Delta 8, CBN, HHC, THCP, and live rosin. I really only need to hit each of these one time. I'll probably be on my ass. I always think that I have a higher tolerance when it comes to Delta 8, but once you start putting it with other things, even though most of those other things, the CBN is obviously not psychoactive at all. There's very little THCP in here, but that binds very well to your cannabinoid system, so you need a very little bit. It should be an interesting one. So what I was doing, I was looking for Halloween stoner boxes on Etsy, and there was like none, but it's really not that cannabis friendly. So I ended up looking for um, like Spooky Doodle Club. I get that box every single year. I absolutely adore it. And then I always get one that's really creepy, like it might have, it's it's like taxidermy-ish, I guess is the best way you could put it. And then there's, I know I got a third one. I totally forgot what that one was. These are all high buys, but while I was on there, I kind of got sucked into Halloween type things. Then I just decided to search up the word creepy and there were some gems. So actually trigger warning, there will be gore in this video. Some of these things that I found that are creepy are very gory. That's like my Halloween aesthetic. Let's hit this real quick. I want to start off with the two indicas just to get these out of the way. I don't want the uh, the effects of an indica to really hit me too much. First one's purple haze. It's an indica, granddaddy purple. It's said to make you sleepy, hungry, and relaxed. I love how they, that's my favorite part that 86 does is they actually put the effects and what it was tailored to on the box. Okay, that one was pretty tasty. Let's open up. The next one here is blue cheese. It's actually, it's blue magic. The strain is blue cheese. It's said to make you feel relaxed, euphoric, and creative. I honestly, I couldn't tell you what it tastes like. It's blueberry cheesecake. I should have been able to guess that. What Halloween aesthetic are you? Because I am like pretty and gore. I love a black rose, skulls, things that are beautiful in a dark way, things that are just like blacks and mauves. I love that stuff. But then also gory, like blood and body parts and all of that jazz. So I went on to Etsy and I just typed in the word creepy and phew, there are some really good finds on here. I'm really loving the dark vibes of the art. They have some prints on here for pretty cheap, starting at like 11 bucks, four bucks. That was a weird way of styling that. This is a little bit better. All right, like this. This one is really just drawing to me. Also the bunny cult. Oh my God, 30 by 45. <gasps> Framing options. If you wanted a brown mo modern, why would you do that? That's a pricey one. That's not one that I would be able to afford. I appreciate the art, but could not, definitely could not afford it. And I have been into getting the oversized art things lately. This is neat. Reusable Halloween fire pit skull logs. Um, mutilated human skull. They all kind of look like they have a little blunt force trauma to the head. They're made from ceramic soil. I've never heard of that before. What the hell is ceramic soil? Let me get into the next one. It's called Cooks and Castles. It's a hybrid. It's Grease Monkey. And it says, it'll actually make me sleepy, euphoric, and energetic. That one, that feels like a disaster in my body. <laughs> that feels crazy to me. I don't know if I want to be sleepy and energetic at the same time. So the picture of the actual skull that is, um, that's in the original photo, the piles of skulls, uh, those look a lot better than this. Oh no, no, no. I think that this is one of those kind of scammy things. They have okay reviews, four stars. Somebody posted in the description of this item, it says that these are large skulls. They are not. These skulls are extra small, at most two and a half inches high. Very deceitful description. Okay, don't get these. Ooh, that's very vanilla wafer, very vanilla. Ooh, I like that one. These are really creepy. I love the bug print, the dried butterfly. This feels a little bit, um, I was gonna say movie prop-ish, but it says it's real. That is actually really cool. I would want glass on it because, um, like how do you hang that up in your house and it accumulate dust? How the hell would you clean that? Next up, we are getting into Mango Mobbin, which is a sativa. It's actually green crack. That one's the best yet. Oh man, I'm only supposed to do one. This one says I should feel creative, energetic, and talkative, which is unfortunate for you all. 
We have two more to try. Twisted Berry is a sativa, and then I saved Pumpkin Spice, the limited edition fall one. Now, they get these in. They get a certain amount in. I don't think that they're restocked, so if it sells out, it sells out. I absolutely hate pumpkin myself. I blame the fact that I used to work at an incredibly popular pie bakery, and we would slang out like a thousand pumpkin pies out of each location each day around Thanksgiving, and I think it's just, it was sensory overload, and now I just hate it. We will be testing it out though. All right, next up, I thought that these were honestly one of the coolest things on this entire site. Some realistic human ripped out eyeballs on a bloody rusty fish hook. That's so badass. You can pick your eye color if you want. Oh, oh. It's kind of slightly creepier that you can pick your eye color because I feel like some people might pick it um, perhaps based on someone that they dislike. <laughs> oh, the vanity colors are kind of cool. It feels like the pink and the purple kind of feels a little bit more alien-esque. Um, but yeah, that is pretty sweet. They are one inch by one inch and then I guess five inches long. It doesn't really show the tail on this one, but this one does. It's not tail. That's the like turn your own nose up kind of creepy. This shop is called Deadhead Props. They have a solid five stars, 11,872 sales. They have more than a thousand, 2,000 reviews. This is a pretty cool shop. Let's look at them for a second here. This realistic life-sized freaky fruit. Can't you see yourself having like a fruit basket of just really creepy, realistic looking eyeball fruit staring out? Even if you got just one and put it in your basket, that would be fun. All right, next up we have Twisted Berry. It's a sativa. Durban Poison is the uh, strain. It's supposed to make you feel energetic, focused, and uplifted. Oh, focused. I cannot imagine being focused on this. This one smells like um, berry swisher sweets. The mango one is still my first favorite. This one's my second favorite. I know pumpkin spice won't even be up there. Cook's Castle, damn, actually they were all really good. Let's hit pumpkin spice real quick so we get the full effects while we're searching. All right, this one is the pumpkin spice. I didn't even show you the, um, it's red. It's a two gram car. This is their standard device. It's a comfortable hit. I like that mouthpiece. They hardly ever clog. They are micro USB rechargeable. Each of the lines are a different color, but they don't tell you what the line is. So if you thought that this was like just their straight Delta eight or their cloud nine series, like the Delta nine one, um, and you chiefed on it like you normally would, you'd probably be blitzed off your tits and really regret it. So maybe take a magic marker, a strain label or something thing to remind you that red means that it's hot, that it's very potent. All right, pumpkin pie. <laughs> it's a good thing I don't love it. So it does have that pumpkin pie essence to it. It's not too heavy on the pumpkin. I'm getting the, um, the spice part of it a bit heavier, which is the part that I dislike the most. If you love a pumpkin spice, then get it. I think around the holidays last year, I'm, I'm pretty sure they came out with a hot cocoa one, right? No more hits. That was like seven, right? Ooh wee. This is feeling very lifted. Let's go back to the shop. It has um, a very heavy focus on eyeballs. So I think I'm over that. Let's go down creepy doll head lamp. I'm loving this 40 bucks. See, there are some solid finds on here. I really like this seven inches tall. That feels really tall. The shop also, it has 462 reviews, five stars, tons of sales. This is another good shop. I'm going to follow. Did I follow deadhead? No. Oh, okay. I like the shop. I like the vibes that this shop has. Oh, she even has teacups. Stop. Ooh, that one is kind of creepy. Oh my God, I might need a teacup. There's some teapots. Those are some standard skulls. Those are fine. I like the nichiness of this. Lots of different lamps, even a silly happy mushroom table lamp. I'm digging that. Some skulls, I think the doll head. The doll head is my favorite there too. Kitchen bathroom, what do we have? A chopping board, chop chop. Oh, I think this is one of the mystery boxes that I got. The Oddities Mystery Box Vulture Culture Curiosities Skull Box from Oddly Nostalgia. Everything is very ethically sourced, naturally found. None of these things have been her on purpose for the box. I think it'll be really neat. This became a thing in the creepy section for some reason. There's a lot of Nicolas Cage items. This is Pickleus Cage, a dill pickle 
Nicolas Cage fridge magnet. You can go down the rabbit hole with the Nicolas Cage shit on Etsy and it's hilarious. This has a warning on it that's deemed too realistically gory for public viewing. So let's see if we can see it. Yes. Oh, there's different angles for it. So they gave it an acrylic fingernail. So it looks like a legit fingernail. It looks like a legit finger, real legit blood. This is the most realistic looking. That's wild. It looks like that's crazy. It's only $15. I'm loving this creepy hand that comes out of a wall, holds your jewelry. Maybe it could hold your rings. It seems like something that I might walk past and just knock off the wall and also knock my head into it. Yeah, that's a neat one. Uh, earrings, oh, I hate teeth, scroll past that. I know we can find some more cool stuff. Like we have this, this is wildly expensive, but again, it's gotta be something that's handmade. Uh, creepy skeleton hand lamp with an LED bulb and it is like machinery. Actually, that's not, I don't know. I feel like this is something that wouldn't really be that hard to make on your own. Actually, I take that back because this person used a whole bunch of welds and the average person does not know how to weld. It's very expensive. That's an expensive one. Clown warning, but this looks really sweet. The dark white Bozo the Clown scary horror living die doll. The video of this one, I have my sound on, it's not making any sound. I'm not sure if it does, but it moves its head. I'm just, I'm gonna heart it. I, it's something I wanna save. It's not something that I could have right now. My kids are not able to deal with that. <laughs> Alligators aren't really, those baked taters look weird. I can't tell if they're endearing or if they're creepy or if they just look like ball sacks. What is up with? The Nicolas Cage. These are cage-free birds. Love this planter, this grub baby fugly planter made of concrete, bizarre looking, and it's pretty with the baby head on it. It's four inches by six inches by 10 inches. It's pretty decent size. I kind of love it. Okay, we gotta hurt that. Let's look for just a couple more creepy things and then I'm gonna show you the, um, the uh, the thing that I bought, and it is gory. I'll give you that as a hint. These are some real creepy earrings. I do love a weird earring. I wish I remembered to wear them. I never remember to put them in my ears. Like right now, we could put on some earrings. Some kind of, I don't really have much creepy, so I feel like I should get some. I have some snakes, I do like that. Oh, snakes would be, that's kind of what this search is missing. We haven't come across like tarantulas or snakes. I don't know. Let me look at the shop. Oh, teeth. Ah! Cannot look at that anymore. This is kind of cool. It's an octopus tentacle. Octopus tentacles in an apothecary bottle. Real wet specimen taxidermy. It's actually real. This wet specimen ships without fluid and will need to be filled with 70% isopropyl alcohol upon receiving. It does say that they were ethically sourced in accordance with the Sustainable Fisheries Partnership with various locations. Okay, so that makes me feel a little bit better about it. Um, I can't envision how um, octopus tentacles are ethically sourced, but that's, that's a good one. That's a good creepy one. Wow, that one is... I kind of like it. I kind of dig it. That's what I'm aiming for, that uncomfortable, creepy. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. I grew up on horror, and it should make you feel a little bit uncomfortable, a little bit queasy on the inside. Okay, are you ready? I did pass it when I was scrolling the thing that I ended up buying, but I hadn't shown you because I didn't want to spoil it. It was supposed to be like life-sized and this box is significantly smaller than I was expecting. Wow, by the way, I am feeling absolutely ripped. I'll put little notes about 86 brand down below in the pinned comment. Um, that's generally the place that you want to look because the description box is not a safe zone. Are you ready to see what I have? It's so damn cool. It's from a shop called Delirium Studios. That's a little thank you note. It is fully handmade. I think that's what's going to blow our mind. At least I hope that it lives up to the expectations on the site here, but they have 2,415 reviews and a solid five stars and nearly 7,000 sales. <laughs> oh my God, I love the bag that it came in. Okay, are you ready? Because you have to see it in the bag I, instead of it being unbagged. It is a biohazard 
bag for transporting in Oregon and it's a hyper realistic life-sized human heart which I thought was slightly bigger than this <gasps> I love it oh my god it was so you know it was um $28.61 after tax it was free shipping it's made of silicone it's not sticky but like it kind of is <laughs> it has blood dripping down it has coagulated blood dripping down look at oh my god this is so freaking sweet. That is how big a human heart is, or at least an average human heart. It feels kind of weird to know now, but that feels about right. <laughs> That's so sweet. When I bought this, I didn't even go into the store and see what other sweet things that they have to offer. I really should have. They have life-size human brains a lot of skulls, conjoined twin skulls, twin planter. These planter skulls are really cool. The heart seems to be the main, the heart or the skull. So that's everything that I have for you all today. Um, I don't know what to do. I do feel very talkative and creative. I don't feel couch locked. I also don't feel energetic. I think we just mixed everything and I just feel blitzed at this point. So I should just go play a game. I should go make myself a chicken sandwich. This is gonna turn out to be such a great day. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you 86 Brain for sending your stuff over. By the way, they have some sweet merch. I'm wearing their sweatshirt right now. It says Elevate Your Mind. It's my favorite zip up. I really like how it fits and um, you're probably going to see a lot of it. And then they also had these, where did those little charms go? They have these croc charms. I think I left them downstairs. That um, They're actually really kind of cool. I don't have any crocs to put them in, um, but we got, there's like air freshener stickers. I don't know. It's just cute stuff. Also, a huge shout out to all my patrons for making videos like this possible. I love each and every one of you and please consider hitting subscribe before you leave. Love you all so damn much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!